Hi, this is Katie from Hooks and Coco, and I am just going to do a real quick video tutorial on how I make my piney knit scarf. So with these like elongated knit stitches is what I believe I called them. <laughs> um, and yeah, and it just creates this beautiful texture and even the back is super beautiful too. Um, my puffing did go away with blocking, so you may have to block this project. Um, steam blocking works, but I, I prefer to wet block. <laughs> um, so I have my 13, well my US 13 knitting needles, um, and I believe that's 9 millimeter. So I'm going to knit 3, and then purl 1, knit 1, and then I purl 2, and this is before the elongated knit stitch. So what I'm going to do here is I have a couple of rows of normal knitting. So I kind of slip the stitch off and very carefully undo the stitches. So I drop about three rows and then I insert the needle in the fourth row and I insert the needle and have all of the drop stitches on the needle as well. And then I'm going to wrap around like a normal knit stitch and I kind of pinch on the bottom and then I pull it off so it looks like a normal knit stitch. So I'll go ahead and purl two, knit two, and we'll purl two before we get to that elongated knit stitch. Okay, so again, I'm going to drop the stitch off the hook or needle and then pull out about three rows. So it's going to be the previous elongated stitch. And I pinch those extra drop stitches or I don't know what you want to call them. And then I pull it off all together. And that helps me just kind of keep track of the loops that I'm doing. You don't have to pinch it. So we'll go ahead and do that again. I'm going to purl two. In the first row, I believe you drop four stitches, um, but later on you drop about three rows and insert your needle in the fourth. And I would possibly do just a looser tension just to make sure it's not too tight. Alright, knit two, purl two, and it's the last elongated stitch. So just drop the three rows, and I kind of hold on to that last one so it doesn't accidentally get dropped. Insert the needle on all of them, and knit like normal. And that is what I do for my elongated knit stitch on the piney scarf. Um, as you can see, it creates this beautiful texture um, that has really long... Oh, I skipped some there. Whoops, let's ignore that. <laughs> Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll get to you. Thank you.